Darius Fountain has been the surprise of the offseason so far for the Detroit Lions. A player going into his sixth year of his NFL career, a player that has been with the Kansas City Chiefs, the Chicago Bears, the Indianapolis Colts, and has been all over the league, is a player that came to Detroit with very few expectations. Spent 2023 on the Detroit Lions practice squad, didn't play a snap, was never called up for an active play, and never even got to participate in the preseason with Detroit. However, this year, going Going into OTA's mini camp and now throughout training camp, Darius Fountain has not only made an opportunity and made a case for himself to make the 53 man roster, he is fighting for the opportunity to be the starting boundary wide receiver for the Detroit Lions in 2024. Now, Darius Fallon stands at 6 foot 2, 210 pounds. He is 28 years old as he was selected all the way back in the 2018 NFL draft. He was a fifth round selection by the Indianapolis Colts as he was selected with the 159th overall pick in the 2018 NFL draft, being selected from Northern Iowa University. University. Now, despite not playing at the largest school, Darius Fountain was still a very intriguing prospect for a lot of teams with his size, his speed, his athletic testing, and the pretty good numbers that he put up at a lower level of competition. Now, Darius Fallon put up a 7.98 RES score, and while his size was just okay, his speed was bearable but nothing great, and his agility wasn't anything special, his explosiveness was off the charts, grading with a 42.5 inch vertical and an 11 foot 2 broad jump. He graded out with elite explosiveness being in the 95th percentile for both athletic testing metrics, and then going into the 40 yard dash, he ran a 4.51, which isn't blazing speed, isn't going to beat guys like Jameson Williams in a race, but is good enough for a player of his stature. Again, we're talking a 6'2", 210-pound wide receiver. A low 4'5 is not a bad score and is certainly not slow by NFL standards. Now, Darius Fountain is a jump ball wide receiver. There is no doubt that he is more towards the Kenny Galladay side of things than he is to the Amon Ross St. Brown kind of things, but I think that that's actually going to play into his favor for the Detroit Lions, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. However, let's go back a little further. Let's take a look at Darius Fountain and his four years at UNI. He played in 40, he played in 52 games for the Panthers, having 150 receptions, 2,077 receiving yards, and 23 touchdowns while averaging 13.8 yards per reception. Now, Darius Fallon, despite not having the most regular season success, has been a preseason star at just about every stop that he's been at. In 2018, in the preseason, he had three games, seven targets, four receptions for 46 yards and four first downs. In 2019, he played in just one game for the Indianapolis Colts, but had seven targets, five receptions for 63 yards. In 2020, he actually took the year off and decided to focus on his mental health as well as just getting ready for the next NFL team after being released by the Indianapolis Colts. But in 2021, he signed with the Kansas City Chiefs, where he put up three games, 16 targets, 10 receptions for 118 yards. He followed that up a year later with three games, eight targets, six receptions for 87 yards, before moving over to the Chicago Bears, where in the preseason of 2023, he put up his best career preseason yet with three games, 10 targets, seven receptions, 116 yards, a single touchdown, as well as 16.6 yards per reception. Now, unfortunately, Darius Fountain, despite having the preseason success, has never really found it in the regular season. He's played just eight games in the regular season in his NFL career, has seen just three targets for two receptions, 23 yards, and two first downs to his name. Now, for a player to play five seasons and not have very much to show for it usually means that they are a depth piece. It usually means that they are not a player that you will rely on as a starter, and for the most part, that tends to be true. However, the case seems to be different for Darius Fallon. He is a player that signed with the Detroit Lions after a successful 2023 preseason in Chicago. He was cut by the Bears, but was signed to the Lions practice squad almost immediately. Now, he was projected to be nothing more than a camp body. He was projected to be nothing more than a little bit of wide receiver depth in a wide receiving room that was pretty good, but certainly if injuries arose, could use a bigger body field stretcher like Darius Fountain. However, he was never called up and never needed. 
However, as training camp has gone on, and really throughout OTAs and mini camp, the buzz around Darius Fountain started to grow. We started to hear about him making some spectacular catches down the field. We started to hear him making big plays with the second team offense. And then as we got into training camp and towards the end of that mini camp OTA sessions, we started to hear rumors and started to hear sometimes that, hey, Darius Fountain is starting to get a couple of reps with Jared Goff, right? He's starting to go one-on-one -on -one with Terrion Arnold. He's starting to go one-on-one -on -one with Carlton Davis. He's starting to make plays not only against the second team defense, but now he's starting to make a little bit of buzz and starting to make a little bit of a name for himself with the first team defense. And that got all Detroit Lions fans excited. And I think that there's a lot of competition, and I think that there really is an opportunity for Darius Fountain to take a larger role this year than was ever expected. And honestly, I think he could be the missing answer for the X wide receiver the Lions have been looking for. Now, throughout the preseason, Darius Fountain has gotten a lot of first team reps. It seems pretty easy and pretty confident that he will not only make the 53 man roster, but he will likely be the X wide receiver as he seems to be by far the most impressive throughout camp. He's had multiple touchdowns over Carlton Davis. He's won tough one on one first downs with Terry on Arnold, right? He's gotten first downs and one on one opportunities. He has made plays versus this team's top cornerbacks and I think that Darius Fountain is in for a really strong season now over the last couple of years the Detroit Lions have failed to find their X wide receiver in the first year of the Brad Holmes Dan Campbell regime it was supposed to be Tyrell Williams preseason looked good training camp had some good moments but in the first game of the season in fact the first target Tyrell Williams had as a Detroit Lion he took a shot to the head that unfortunately was the last play of his NFL career Tyrell Williams retired the end of that season without playing another snap for the Detroit Lions. The year after that, they brought in DJ Chark, a player with blazing speed at six foot two, a, a legit field stretching wide receiver to come in and be the X. Unfortunately, DJ Chark struggled with some injury concerns when he was on the field. He was that field stretcher. He was a good X wide receiver, but unfortunately was not able to be a member of the Detroit Lions long-term, largely due to the injury concerns. He left for Carolina the offseason after. Josh Reynolds was brought in late into the first season of the Brad Holmes, Dan Campbell era, and while he wasn't really a true ex-wide receiver, he did kind of play that role for the Detroit Lions at times and was, again, a good option, but not ever necessarily the great option, right? Even with Josh Reynolds and DJ Chark on the roster, the Lions still traded for ex-wide receivers. They still tried to draft that ex-wide receiver, like Antoine Green in the seventh round a season ago six foot two field stretcher the ability to win down the field use that big frame to his advantage but Antoine Green hasn't really worked out and then last year they traded for Donovan Peoples Jones a six foot two field stretcher big body ball winner and he has yet to work out with the Detroit Lions now there still is of course a chance that DPJ has that opportunity and can make some plays but as of right now, it seems like he's a little bit buried on the depth chart, and it doesn't seem like the Lions are married to the idea of keeping Donovan Peoples-Jones around, especially if Darius Fountain can make and produce plays like they want him to. Now, overall, you would look at the Detroit Lions roster, and you would probably say that Darius Fountain is not going to be the top wide receiver, right? He's going to get a lot of work in the preseason, and even with the first depth chart being revealed, Darius Fountain was the fourth wide receiver on the roster. However, when it comes to wide receivers, much like some other positions, it's not so much where you are on the depth chart as what role that you play. Because obviously, when you take a look at the roster, Darius Fountain is not beating out Amon Ross St. Brown for a roster spot or playing time. He's not beating out Jamison Williams for a roster spot. He's not beating out Khalif Raymond for a roster spot. And personally, I don't think he's beating out Donovan Peoples-Jones necessarily for a roster spot or Antoine Green. But again, those are a little bit more arguable as he is playing over them. But at best case scenario, if the Lions were to cut every wide receiver in order, we're taking a look at Darius Fountain easily being the fourth wide receiver on his best day on this roster. But with wide receiver, of course, that's not necessarily how it works. He doesn't have to beat out Amon Ross St. Brown because he's not playing in the slot. He doesn't have to beat out Jameson Williams or Khalif Raymond because that's not the role he's going to play. His competition this year is only between the three players of Darius Fountain, Donovan Peoples-Jones, and Antoine Green. And while I think that all three of these players will make the roster and the Detroit Lions will carry six wide receivers into the NFL season, 
he only has to beat these three guys. And as of right now, he is going to, right? These are the three players on the roster that have the case to be the X next season, right? Amon Ross St. Brown is great outside. He's a great wide receiver. He's not an X wide receiver. He just isn't. He's not built to do it. He can play on the outside. He can win against the number one cornerback, but he's not the jump ball guy. He's not the big physical presence, right? That is not his role. Jamison Williams will play a lot over Darius Fountain and all of these other players. He is the speedy guy. He is the field stretcher. He is the speed. He is the gas. He is the explosiveness and the electricity. These guys, Darius Fountain, Donovan Peoples-Jones, and Antoine Green are the muscle. They are the big bodies. They are the jump balls. They are the, he's down there somewhere, throw it up and give them an opportunity. And between the three of them right now, Darius Fountain is by far the best player throughout camp, by far the most impressive player throughout training, and will get the most opportunities, I think, when going into the 2024 preseason. Now, with that being said, overall, I honestly think that all six of those players make the roster. I think all three of these guys do that we're looking at right now, as well as Raymond, St. Brown, and Jameson Williams, of course. But with that being said, I do think that Darius Fountain will be the X wide receiver to start the season. He has the size. He has the explosiveness. He has the speed. He has the preseason accolades and has the preseason statistics. He is the big body player. He is the archetype that the Lions have been looking for at wide receiver. And despite sending so many draft picks, so much money, so much capital, and even a couple of trades in there, Darius Fountain, the most unsuspecting player of the bunch, very well could end up being the answer the Lions have been looking for. So with that being said, that is I have for you guys today. I am very excited to see number 12 play in the preseason. The Lions kick off in just three days from today. Thursday night, we will see him actively on the field with the Detroit Lions, hopefully making some plays. So with all of that being said, that is all I have for you guys right now. Let me know down in the comments below your expectations for Fountain going into the season. I'd be very curious what you guys have to say and what you guys think. But with all of that being said, that's all I got for you right now. We are so close to our goal of 4,100 subscribers by the first preseason game. And if you go down below and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification, we could hit that as early as today. So please go down below and do that. It helps the channel out a ton. Hit the bell notification so you never miss a Detroit Lions upload. Preseason's on the way, training camp is underway, and we are so close to football being back. We're going to have a lot of Lions content coming out, so hit the bell, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next Lions video. That is all I have for you guys right now. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, and as always, go Lions.